I guess actually Prey really does carry on carry on the uh the legacy at least to some small degree. I heard it wasn't as much of a success though. The enemy aesthetic in Prey was really unsatisfying. It was just kind of weird bulbous shadow people. I liked the look of the shadows. Entering like zero gravity. Gravity. But it wasn't... There we go. Like, it looked nice, but it wasn't interesting. And I, I think it would have been cooler if they had a lot more, uh, a lot more foes, I guess would be the word. shot these suckers earlier. There we go. Oh, I can't two-shot them now. Where is he? I have no idea. Yeah, threatening but not horrifying. Yeah, kind of. Actually, yeah, definitely. I, I, I think threatening but not horrifying is a good example of for a good description of that game. That's the last one, Isaac. There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. Once the air's clean, you can get into food storage. As I've been reading these reports, the crew all began having mass hallucinations. And... Well, I just saw my brother on a security monitor. And that's just not possible. Owie. Yeah, I'm losing my ability to aim here. Yeah, I really like the horror in Bloodborne. The whole underdog horror, like in Dead Space and Dark Souls, is fun to me. Uh, underdog? You mean underdog versus horror? Because that makes more sense. Underdog horror is just confusing. Okay, but I liked it in Bloodborne, too. My only problem with it is, uh, I suck at Bloodborne. Or, oh. Oh, freaking. I like the idea of Bloodborne and the horror aspect and all the, all the stuff. Main problem is just, like, I'm no good at it. That's a confusing angle. Yeah, underdog main character makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah. I just... I, I guess I prefer games like this because I know I can beat this. Uh, I love... I love From Software, and I'm actually not too bad at the games. But they're just a little bit too much more work than they're worth for me. Uh, on my own, which is why I like playing them co-op so much. Exiting zero gravity. Good. Stasis recovery. Main character being an underdog should be the basis for any good horror game. I think I, I think you can have, you know, a, a horror game where the character is not. Got here, aren't I? Maybe not. Probably am. But, uh, you know, you can have a competent character, but they have to have something that kind of... They can't be too competent. You know, Doom would never work as a uh, horror game. Not really. 
It's it's almost too jolly, as weird as that sounds. But it was fun. But you can have it. I mean, like Prey was a, a decent example where the character wasn't necessarily an underdog. He wasn't like military trained, but he definitely wasn't like nobody either. Well, he was, but that's plot things. Um, I think my only problem with underdog horror is that it bugs me when nobody else figured it out. You know, when it's only... I really wish I could... I really wish I could actually crouch here so I could line up shots better sometimes. Um... But like... I, I want it. I want to see some more competent characters as well. It always bugged me a little bit that nobody was capable of doing what like uh, Gordon Freeman was able to do. Isaac, where are you? Help me. Uh. Let's save before we do this. But I don't know. I like I like underdog horror, but I wanna see that the that the supposedly competent people had some chance of being competent. You know, like I think it would have been cool if there was like a guy on this station that actually was doing fairly well for a while. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Maybe. Let's see, so Bloodborne is substantially different from Dark Souls. There's still high reflex, uh, high difficulty games. Hydroponics log, this is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Unknown antigen injected into the filtration system. Damn it. The poison wasn't strong enough. It's still alive. Get in there and kill it before it contaminates the entire ship. It's like 22 million pounds. hitting me than I would like. Alright, whatever. Hey. You can help back. Hello. There you go. Wiggle, jiggle, and explode. Thank you very much. Holy smackdown is that face.
Yeah, I, I didn't actually restock an ammo. probably was just supposed to send one of those into his face a long time ago. I wasn't really sure if you were supposed to shoot it, if it just has like a big health bar. Uh, okay, okay, Isaac, you did it. Hammond, do you read? Oxygen levels are returning to normal. Damn it. He's gone again. No sign of his rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off this ship. I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. Oh god. I don't know how much longer that dark cold. I get the feeling she's gonna betray us. I've forgotten the plot. Somebody betrays us. Somebody always betrays us. It's her. Any other goodies hiding? Do I? Really? Hey, convenience. Well, there's some. Part of the reason why I haven't upgraded my uh, my kinetics module is I'm not entirely sure if I need it. Soap betrays you. Ah! Oh, I knew cleanliness would kill me in the end. Zero gravity. Assuming that means spacing. Very apt description. Oh god. If that thing is dead, well, no. It would probably still rot. Just weirdly. Can you imagine coming back to this place like in 30 years everything's dead? Starved out, so on and so forth? You come back, the, the smell, maybe? Would it even be the smell? I don't know. I have a lot of healing kits. Damn. Oh, the contact. I got plenty, plenty of those. Let's, let's grab some of my ammo. I did burn through it real quick. Oh, I am out of plasma energy. That reload animation looks real goofy. And I had so much going into that. Oh well. Uh, depends how well stuff would rot in cold vacuum. But it's... The sun would probably still hit it. So it wouldn't exactly be cold. Maybe? Really, I don't know. I guess there's whole like uh, Warhammer 40k games and books about the idea of finding these derelict ships that have been taken over by God knows what, and their associated pro problems. Spoilers: Necromorphs can go dormant. I guess this is a good point. I was just thinking, like, if if you somehow managed to kill them all, and then you came back, like, this is extremely long shot nonsense. Do you have any goodies hiding around here? In here, the answer is no. You know, you know who I'd love to see actually make like a successor to this. I would love to see Naughty Dog take on like a successor to uh, Dead Dead Space. I think that would be amazing. Let's see, has Wonder ever seen 28 Days Later? I haven't actually. I don't really watch a whole lot of horror. It's not really my jam. It's usually because it's either pre predictable, the characters are hateable, or just boring. Oh, 
How are we doing on time? This may be our last chance of getting out of here alive, Isaac. There's an asteroid loaded up in the mining bay waiting to be smelted. If you attach the SOS beacon to it, you can launch it away from the ship to make a clean broadcast. The beacon's on the maintenance subdeck. You can launch the asteroid from the control room. <sighs> Damn, the control room is locked. It looks like they keep an emergency access key on the processing subdeck. Couldn't be easy, could it? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Goodies. There we go. Oh god, imagine me role-playing this. Turn off the dialogue. It'd be great if you could almost turn off the cutscenes in this game. Like, okay. How weird would this game be if you took out all of the dialogue, all of the logs, just maybe the one dude and his pet alien, or his pet necromorph, and that's it. Oh, we haven't killed him yet. Yeah, alright. I straight up don't remember. I know I've played this game before, but I don't remember. I just, I just kind of remember the ending. A little grumble about the ending. <laughs> I'm always just a little grumble about endings in games. They're very rarely done in a satisfying manner. Water Song had had a real satisfying ending, but it gone further. Uh, that would be a game that does not. Don't play dramatic music while I'm opening up shit. Not okay. It's not cool. There we go. Okay. So what do we have? Inventory. No, that's inventory. Okay. We really don't need these this many med packs. Or line racks. I'm gonna store them. Sell the pulse rounds. I'm not. I'm not gonna be. I guess let's buy another. Uh, buy another power node. I got three. Sweet. No. Bench. Okay. So we've. The stasis module could be upgraded a little bit more. I could get a little bit more energy and duration. It might not be a bad idea. It seems like it's in my best interest, at least for now, to invest in HP. We're doing mostly fine, but I think it's a good idea to do so anyway. Alright, there we go. And let's keep saving. I don't want to have to remanage everything. It's, that's never fun. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze at some point during this. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. The mining subject is offline for some reason, Isaac. I'll see if I can run a bypass. There we go. Was he a miner? A soldier? Oh. We can do pre preparation, processing. Let's just start at the top. I guess not. Oh, we were on preparation. I deserve that. Okay, elevators. I honestly kind of prefer just this the basic. Temple. 
I found Elizabeth, but there isn't a single space-worthy vessel in the whole goddamn bay. Jacob, hurry up! We need to find a beacon. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Just heal back up. Probably should have just pulled out the line launcher and fired, but oh well. Owie. Those suckers hurt. I thought you were supposed to just take off the legs. I guess I guess I gave it time to flip over and explode. If I didn't give it the time to flip over and explode, we would have been fine. Oh well. Yeah, I really just do prefer kind of the basic guys. I don't really like the invincible chaser enemy. I get the feeling we're gonna see like this here. I don't know. I keep it. I we keep seeing all these like bodies all over the place, and I'm like, I should probably just like dismember them just. I don't. I don't think we're gonna see Minox here. Man, poor Isaac probably has like a ton of extra mental health issues entirely because of my actions. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. We'll save his butt in the long run. Going on that seems like it's broken, but I could I could be wrong. Okay. Hello. Got this. We've got this man. Yeah, I get the feeling we're gonna come back and all these corpses will like reanimate. And we'll be like, no. a bit formulaic. It is so satisfying. Especially once you actually... Oh, hello. Okay, the situation just got a lot worse. The gravity failure came as we were collating asteroids, and one broke free of the grav beam. It collided with the wall, killing two crews, split it, and split into chunks. They're free-floating in the processing room. We can't restore grass gravity to get the master key until they're cleared. We could really use some engineering help up here. Hello, I am an engineer! Seriously. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about the uh, the underdog hero in horror games is it's always the exact guy you need. The only the only easy example that I can think of where it's not is um, what's his name Frank West. Whatever uh, whatever the main character, the Dead Rising, uh, Dead Rising One. You know, just some random photographer. He's covered wars, you know, but that that's the extent of what he's ever done. Uh, and he's not the right man for the job. Entering zero gravity. There's a failsafe on the processing control door. It won't open until gravity is restored. But you can't turn on the gravity until those boulders are cleared from the room. Maybe you can dump them into that gravity beam with your kinesis gun. Colony destroyed. Let's see. Exiting zero gravity. I actually think they're programmed to come out this way. Um. Entering zero gravity. Exiting zero gravity.
It's extra freaky because I know they're there. And like Entering zero gravity. Exiting zero gravity. And land right here. Right here, just walk out. Entering zero gravity. Exiting zero gravity. That's so weird. They all go to the exact same spot. I think this is a moment for the, uh, the other guy. I was hoping I could cheese it, but it just didn't seem like it wanted to work, like it was kind of protected against you cheesing it the way it did. It's fascinating watching the AI do that, though. Like, I've never seen that happen before in this game, uh, mainly because I'm pretty quick to dispatch them. You know what, uh, space funeral. Zero G, so we can just kind of send it and we'll make it there eventually. Not you. And the kinetic gun is weak in this game. Do part time janitorial. Now, if EA wanted to be particularly devious, they would do a Space Janitor Dead Space series. Where you're, you're the Unitologist Janitor slash Reclamation Crew who's supposed to come back and uh, clean the ship, uh, study it, you know, do all sorts of things after the fact. You know, completely tease everybody. That would be... Oh, that... That head had a little bit more oomph to it than the other ones. I guess it's a head. Gross. Uh, left. I didn't really kill many of them earlier. Mostly just like hot shot at them and wasted my ammo. Anomaly destroyed. Done cleaning. It's dumb. 
There's too many, there's too many bits. Too many tentacles, it's not worth my time. It's over there. Can I just jump to that? Nope. That works. There we go. Okay. Gravity restored. Access permitted to control room. Okay, so that's how you keep the blobulons from actually blobuloning. spot to be in. I don't have a whole lot of ammo. This might have fixed that. This hopefully fixes that. Okay, there we go. Let's let's go check the other ones. I think we've only got one clip here, and if I run into anything particularly uh, pushy, I'm in trouble. I think we're good. Because, yeah, I think we've got a bunch of... Yeah, we got a bunch on the line gun, so I should probably stick with that. Though it isn't so bad. There anything in here? Aha. There was a med pack over here. Goodies. Radar has not failed me yet. Eh, it probably has. Probably all sorts of junk and gunk that I've missed. I'll probably want to go around the other second. Plasma energy. Imagine a game building up a character. Like an art and trailer is giving it to a big actor, and then a quarter way through, the main character dies. If some no name actor character sidekick becomes the main character, that's the key, Isaac. It'll get you into the control room so you can launch the asteroid. Don't forget to attach the beacon first. I read another report on the colonist dementia. It seemed to start after they removed the marker from the planet. God knows how long it was down there. If I'm not mistaken, that actually has happened. Yeah, Doom the movie. Uh, that was, I believe that was one of, uh, what's-his-face's earlier roles. Double check. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2, Doom of the Movie. Uh, oh, 
It's one of these doors. That's why I couldn't get in here originally. Well, this is worth going into. This is why I always just carry a singular power node around. Case. Been disconcerting running around without a whole lot of ammo for my for the pew pew. Now we got some. Alright, that's better. The Doom movie was a 2005 film. Yeah! And, I mean, visually it actually looked really nice. God, yeah, I have a second one here. Don't fall down. That'd be bad. I don't see any more ammo here. Anyway, now we've got the more agile weapon, so I shouldn't be in as big of a trouble. Ugh. It's mainly just resource management. That boss fight, uh, emptied me out. 